A friend, a brother, and a real mentor. That's how New York Cardinal Timothy Dolan describes Brooklyn Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio. A friendship that started as brother priests in Washington, D.C., where he says the bishop was renowned for his work on immigration reform. Here now, part two of our in-depth interview with Cardinal Dolan. I got to know him better, much better, when I came here as Archbishop of New York in April of 2009, almost uh, 13 years ago. And then we became, so my respect and admiration for him developed into a fraternity and a, a genuine affection and a real intense collaboration. He used, to make the, uh, he, he used to make the comment that I think was indicative of his legendary uh, savviness. He said, you know, you and I are sort of good combination. He said, you, you come across as this nice guy, this... Uh, come on, let's get everybody together. Let's all get along. And he said, "I can come. I can come across more." It was he would say it's sort of good cop, bad cop. But look, he's a good cop too. But he 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 was aware uh, of his persona as kind of a, a no nonsense. Let's get things done and let's cut to the chase and say what's really going on here. And that was a good combination. So New York is one of the most diverse places yeah. on earth, different ethnicities, different languages, cultures, all of that. It's a complicated city, different dioceses. So how do you make it work when there's so many people coming from different backgrounds? You make it work by showing up, all right? And Bishop DiMarzio would show up. He wouldn't miss an A&P ribbon cutting, you know? When he was invited, he'd be there. He's a great example of a street priest, and that's one of the highest compliments you can give another priest. Uh, Jesus was a street priest. He walked the streets. He went out to the people. He didn't sit there and wait for them to come to him. He went out. And Bishop DiMarzio would be that, literally a street priest. What do you think are some of Bishop DiMarzio's signature achievements? With all the challenges and crises that we've had, we need not underestimate the fact that Brooklyn is still going strong, okay? And he knows that a lot of what you might call the settled Catholic people are moving out. That's America, that's New York, you move on. But so there's been, because of that, he's had to merge some schools, he's had to merge from some parishes, but he's done it in a very fair, consultative way, and the, the Diocese of Brooklyn continues to flourish thanks to, his, thanks to his leadership. He's been extraordinarily effective in strengthening and expanding Catholic charities, which is his forte and he's done that very, very well. He's been very effective on the communications front, hasn't he? Look, Net TV, bravo. Give me something about your relationship, a memory, any particular memory, something fun about your relationship. He's got a laugh that can uh, shake the Empire State Building. And I sort of set as my goal always to get him to laugh, and he loves it. Now, I'm, I'm teasing him now a lot. We go back and forth on the Irish-Italian thing. And I, I've said to him, uh, I'm so happy in your successor because uh, we got another Irishman in Brooklyn. Well, he just roars, you know. He's he, a good friend, you know. My gosh, just to relax and, and have one of his uh, legendary bowls of pasta. So I really became uh, close to him, and I consider him a friend and a brother and a real mentor. Cardinal Dolan also went on to say that he's always admired Bishop DiMarzio because of his willingness to, quote, dare and dream, and that's why his ministry has been so successful. The two friends will be together on Monday morning for the Columbus Day Mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.